all right guys so with slime coming up i know there's probably a lot of people that want to make gear sets that want to you know have anvils ready just in case they want to make ur gear for any of the slime collab units honestly so with that broken clock tower is actually a very good way to farm anvils and it, like it is very good and it's open for an entire day versus this where it's only open for a shitty 30 minutes i don't know what they were thinking with this like this dungeon i don't know at all this is horrible like i actually hate that they did this because a lot of free-to-play players could benefit from this so much man if they would just make this available even if it was three times a day it would be so good without these like without these uh what, whatever yeah the dungeon keys if they would have just if they make this open and available like three times a day that you can do this it would be so much better because i know a lot of people probably maybe they stacked up on them for sure but if you're grinding and you run out that's it you can't do it again so it's dumb um i wish they would make these two modes better whether honestly the most the, the, probably listen listen this is netmarble we're talking about but the the best thing they could do is just make this available forever without keys that's it it oh my god it's crazy but you know if they make these two stages available forever oh my god like, what like, it, it's crazy to think about that right it is grind super awakening coins whenever you want you can grind anvils whenever you want it's just, I, I don't know it's a crazy thought now you, you should you should you should do that um but anyway let's go ahead and let's get into it so this is the team i use to farm both the anvils and the super awakening coins if you have christmas liz it's a little different because christmas liz oh my god she's a monster for time li uh time limited dungeons she's an absolute beast but if you don't and i don't have her this is the team that i would recommend using now it does unfortunately unfortunately involve small wing where was his pillow it does unfortunately involve small wings king having a very high alt level i don't think you need a six out of six but at least a four out of six would be very very good for it he is amazing for farming this um because his abyss his abyss it just makes it so strong right very very strong when rimuru comes out rimuru could also be good because he has abyss but the chances of you getting a six out of six rimuru is not that high so um yeah king is definitely the you know the main unit you want duped out of, again at least four out of six maybe three out of six you can do it with i don't know let me know in the comments if you're trying this and you do it with a three out of six here's the equipment i have on him attacking crit uh sub stats with crit damage as well so keep that in mind uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and let's get into it. You can use Keo for sh like I think Keo is the best partner to use for the Ignites. But maybe I don't know if you don't want to use Keo. I guess you could use like the one or so. I don't know. But Keo is definitely the unit you want to use. If you don't have Keo, you could probably change him for the one just for the extra boost in damage. Or you could use Easton Green Helbrum for the attack related stats buff. You could use that. Uh, here's the artifact set. So yeah, there's different ways you could run this if you don't have Christmas. Again, if you have Christmas Liz, you can you can literally like two or three turn this. But um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started. It does cost 85 stamina, so I would recommend everybody doing this on Sundays because I believe Sundays are all like I think every Sunday is half stamina. I think so. I think every Sunday. I'm not. I get, again I'm, I'm drawing a blank but I, I believe so i am using attack food but you could use you you could use um what you which call it you can use alt gauge food to make it go faster for sure you could use that uh attack food will be good for damage for sure or crit chance or crit damage whatever you want to use it doesn't i honestly it, it really doesn't matter this is why this is so fast by the way again so what we're on turn three so basically a four turn strat to clear this and again it's open for a whole day so if you have something to do you know maybe you can't grind consistently or you know consecutively it again it, it's open it's, it's open for a whole day so that's 
I don't know, again, why they made the Super Awakening version only 30 minutes. That is the dumbest thing they probably done. But, I, I mean, will we kill? How much HP does he have? I don't know. I, I don't feel, I'm going to be honest, I don't feel <laughs> too comfortable. I'm going to see how much damage we do with the Abyss, because you'll see the damage proc. I'm going to see how much damage we do with the Abyss. 876, I believe it said. Oh, now he's dead, but yeah, let me see how much damage we do with the Abyss. 939,000. Okay. Okay. 939,000. Good. That's good. So, yeah, look how much we got from that. We got, what is 14 plus 14 is 28 plus 20. Uh, that is 48. We got 48 anvils, if I'm doing my math correctly, which I'm probably not. So, yeah, we got 48 anvils from that it's so quick it's actually so quick when like you can do this in four turns with this strat at least with this strat again if you don't have kill you can run easton i don't know if i don't know if you're gonna get the same results without kill to be honest green gother is basically needed i'm sorry but green gother is kind of needed for the increase to attack related stats um you he's just he's just good i don't know what else to say he's just good He's just good, but um, you, I think you could get away with using Easton. I actually think you could. Uh, you could maybe if you don't have Festival Zeldris, use Blue Jericho. I could try it. I, I seriously doubt that we're gonna be able to. I might try it after this team. Hold on, because once we kill, um, I'm gonna try it. Blue Jericho on the back, Blue East. I, I cause we're. <laughs> I don't know because if you have a low duped small wings king this I don't know this strap might not be available it, it actually might not be I'm gonna be completely honest with you um it just you have to deal damage you have to deal damage in that phase before this or else you're just not gonna kill you see what I mean you're just not gonna kill you're, you're not I'm gonna try it um let's go ahead and let's switch it up yeah see right here we got we got a lot of gems or uh, anvils as well uh how much is this this is 42 i think that's 42 gen or 42 anvils i keep saying gems uh 42 anvils all right i'm gonna change it up i'm gonna tr i'm gonna see because i don't could you get away with it you might i mean uh where is east i haven't used east in a, in a long time all right so does it i don't think equipment matters too, too much I'm gonna try and make this as free to play friendly as possible, I guess. Where's Jericho? I know Jericho's leveled up. Uh Jericho, Jericho, Jerry Bay, right here. Okay. Let's see, man. Cause Jericho giving us the 10% attack related stats. Uh, with Gother boosting our attack related stats, with her boosting our attack related stats. Could you get the same result? I don't know. I'm gonna use all oh, I don't have any. Can I make some okay, I'm not gonna use all I like them. I'll use attack. We'll, we'll see what attack then. Would recommend using this artifact set too. Just being honest. All right. I actually, this is a really interesting test. Because if I can't, like if you can use this, you definitely should. The only thing is I'm always, I'm always going to have a 6 out of 6 um, king. So it's not like I could decrease it to 4 out of 6 or something like that, right? To show... Ooh, that's good. That is good that we, we got. All right, let me see. I'm going to use a rank one just to be more realistic. I, I'm i going to use a rank one. I'm not going to. Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm not going to. I'm not going to use the rank two because I want it to be as realistic as possible. And you're not always going to get Easton. Well, I, I lie. You can because Gother rank up. You could. You could actually. Okay. Um. Gonna... Alright, we'll do we'll, we'll do rank one just for just for this time. I am so scared we're not gonna kill. 15% on top of Gother on top of Blue Jericho. How much damage are we doing here? 979k. That's still good, actually. That's actually still solid. 900 It's not a million. Or a million, but. That is still solid, acceptable damage for sure. But that's what a six out of six. <laughs> Whew, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, let's, mm, mm.
All right. This will probably be enough. Oh, we also, I forgot. We also do have the Holy Relic for Gother helping us too. Yeah, that is one thing I did, didn't take into consideration. Gother's Holy Relic. So there's a lot that could be changed with this team. So 172. Yeah, we could get a lot of uh, anvils from this. But overall, the basic strat is King's ult. That's it. King's ult is the basic strategy for this. Again, it differs if you have Liz. I, I know, you know, like if you have Liz, it's going to be a lot different because you could, again, like I said, you could pretty much just three turn the stage. With Festival King or something like that, you could. I hope I pull Christmas Liz because I do actually want to see the difference. I actually want to see the difference with using her versus using this king because i'm pretty sure the difference is going to be pretty pretty high so uh, i do actually want to use christmas liz because christmas liz is very very good for time limited dungeons i just didn't want to summon on her at the time because you know it, it was liz and she's not that good besides her passive so i didn't want to summon on her so i didn't all right this is what a rank three increasing our attack related stats by 30 percent we are at wow we have a lot of crit damage so that's going to increase it by a further what 30 percent it was yep we're gonna do a lot of damage here um not as much as we would have with keo but or zelda's 1.1 mil that's good that is still good i definitely will take that and then the abyss damage will finish them off so yeah you could run it you could run it and be wow okay uh you you could run it and it could be very very uh good for um this king strat as well this is just, there's a lot of different strats well not a lot but there's a couple different strats you could use with this small wings king strategy before liz i think this was the best i think so i think he was the best strategy small wings king but not at christmas liz exists you know she is obviously the better option so let me know what you guys think of this strategy wow 17 i will definitely take that that's good on top of 10 more yes <laughs> but yeah let me know what you guys think about this strategy is it helpful for you guys are you gonna run it again if you don't have christmas liz i would seriously suggest running it and you again you can you can farm it you can farm it pretty easily so let me know what you guys think Thanks for watching. I love you guys and I will see you all later.